Hi, my name is Adam Polk, and I'm a French horn player at the University of Houston, and I'm here to talk about hand position on the French horn. And um, the hand position on the French horn is something that um, it kind of is different for every person, and there's a lot of debate over the right way to do it, um, and there's different styles for different pieces and um, for different kinds of sound and different horns. But um, here, just to give you kind of a general overview of a um, what I would call a standard approach to it. So. Um, So the first thing I want to talk about is um, how does the hand function with the horn? How does putting your hand in the bell help you with playing? What does it do? Um, what kind of different situations are you going to see? So the first thing it's good to know is um, putting your hand in the bell changes the sound. Um, the further you put it in, kind of the more muffled and darker it will get. So it's important to find a balance between pitch and sound. Um, but also to remember, um, putting your hand in the bell will change the pitch as well. So if I were to put my hand in the position of a beginning student and have it outside the bell, you would get the most open sound and you would also have no adjustment to the pitch from your hand. If I were to put my hand in the bell, it would muffle it ever so slightly if done correctly, which I'll show you soon. And it would also bring the pitch down, because the horn is going to naturally flow a little bit above the pitch center that you want. As you cover, see my hand moving, as you cover the horn and seal it off, your pitch is going to lower. So you can flatten the note in a quick fix in you know a middle orchestra, middle of a wind ensemble. If you were to do this, you could quickly change the pitch level if something were going on that you weren't expecting and you just needed to rapidly do it with almost no effort. Now this brings us to stopped horn. So for stopped horn, while holding it correctly with the um, weight centered on the knuckle of your index finger and the thumb, you will simply, without adjusting in or out at all, you bring your hand down to cover as if you're muffling it. However, you try to create a seal. And the better the seal, the more um, buzziness and ring you're going to get in the stopped sound. So again, you will start with from the normal position as if you were just playing with the open sound and then you would, um, when required to stop, seal it to the best of your ability. There will be holes between your fingers. I mean, it's just natural. You can't seal it completely, and that's how the sound actually projects. But the better the seal, the more ringing, buzziness, the uh, kind of the, the drive that you want in the sound is going to be there. All right, so again, I'm just going to go over just kind of the different um, main points of um, hand position on the French horn. So let's remember, this is the open position where there's no adjustments to the pitch or sound quality. Correct hand position on the index finger and the thumb on the outer end against the outside of the horn will be the um, best general hand position that you'll see most of the time. And then covering it for stopping will just require you to seal it off by lowering the wrist towards the bell. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and you kind of got some insight into what exactly horn players are doing when they have their hand in the bell and how it affects their playing.